what did ancient humans use to wipe after going to the bathroom? Throughout history, people have used everything from their own hands to corn cobs to snow to clean up after bowel movements. Most of the material we don't have because it's organic or just disappeared, according to Susan Morrison, a medieval literature professor at Texas State University. However, experts have been able to recover some samples. Some even had traces of feces and depictions of toilet paper's precursors in art and literature. One of the oldest materials on record for this purpose were wooden or bamboo sticks wrapped in cloth called hygiene sticks, dating back to 2,000 years ago in China. From 332 BC to 642 AD, during the Greco-Roman period, another stick was used called a tesorium, which had a sea sponge on the end and was left in public bathrooms for communal use. However, it's also possible that these weren't used to clean people's behinds, but the bathrooms themselves. Either way, tesoriums were cleaned by dumping them in a bucket of salt or vinegar water. Greeks and Romans also wiped with flat, disc-shaped ceramics called pisoi. Archaeologists have found these relics with traces of feces on them, as well as an ancient wine cup featuring a man wiping his bum with pisoi. The abrasive characteristics of ceramics suggest that long-term use of pisoi could have resulted in local irritation, skin, or mucosal damage, or complications of external hemorrhoids, according to the British Medical Journal. In the 8th century AD, the Japanese used another type of wooden stick called chugi to clean both the outside and inside of the anus, likely putting a stick up there. In the Middle Ages, people also used moss, sedge, hay, straw, and pieces of tapestry. Granted, nowadays not everyone uses toilet paper. Water, such as a gentle stream from a bidet, keeps many people's undersides clean the world over.